Oh, good job. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. The chamber hands the floor to the defense teams for the accused. First, to the Nunti defense to put questions to this witness. You may proceed, counsel. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Maître Copé, merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, um, Monsieur le Témoin. I don't have many questions for you, just a few. Um, I'm a bit puzzled with your testimony, so maybe you can clarify some issues. Je veux dire que votre déposition m'intrigue um, un peu. Just testified that um, you stole rice Vous dites avoir volé um, to gain the sympathy for the people. Pour, uh, uh, in your commune or in your village, um, that um, the people in your village understood your generosity and that they were in fact quite happy with you, if I paraphrase your testimony. Um, however, at the same time, you were a little bit earlier confronted with the testimony of somebody from your village as well, uh, somebody with the name Ut Seng, um, and he testified at, uh, around 9.30 of the 3rd of June um, that um, it was good that you were arrested. Otherwise, the people of the village surely would have killed you. Can you react uh, on his testimony? Um, I will actually read it literally to you. Um, quote, in 1979, when the Vietnamese arrived, he was arrested and imprisoned. That's why he is still alive. Otherwise, Sinon, the people certainly would have killed him without fail. Exécuté. Can you give a reaction to Utseng's testimony? Pouvez-vous nous dire ce que vous pensez de sa déposition? I do not have any reaction to uh, the statement. Réponse. What Je he said is uh, accurate. Ce qu'il a dit est exact. So is it then true you didn't have a lot of sympathy in the village? Question est-il donc vrai? Était-il donc était-il donc vrai que les villageois ne vous aimaient pas beaucoup? It is my understanding Réponse. the hatred was only for certain individuals. Je pense il In general, the villagers do not really hate me that much. Only certain individuals have a very strong Ce hatred toward me. Eux me of course, during the course of your work, uh, not everybody Bien liked sûr, what you did. Tout le monde pas nécessairement ce que l'on fait. And yes, uh, the statement made by this gentleman oui, uh, is indeed accurate. Tout à fait exact. And if I were not arrested and imprisoned, si je pas été I would be exposed to being killed as people were uh, seeking revenge against me. Se de moi. But it is the gratitude of my parents that I survive. Et grâce à mes parents que survécu. Um, <coughs> Utseng didn't, didn't only Question. give testimony to the effect that villagers were ready to kill you out of revenge, but he also said um, a little bit further um, in his testimony at around 9.32 uh, that you were in fact um, one of the killers uh, in the village, that you had uh, 
a knife and a sword with dry blood on it, indicating that you were the one who actually did the killing. Arme Is he wrong about that as well? Uh, the statement you quoted is Réponse. partially correct. Ce que vous avez cité est en partie exact. The hatred was only for certain individuals or expressed by certain individuals, although they Certaines did not have a full grasp de of the situation. Mais il n'avait pas une idée complète de la But situation. He uh, refers to you as Question. literally um, an executioner. Que vous étiez un Were you an executioner? Étiez-vous un bourreau no. I, Réponse, uh, non. Do not agree with that. Je ne suis pas d'accord. I was not a, a murderer or a chief executioner. Je n'étais pas le chef bourreau. Qu quoi This individual did not know who was in charge or who Cet was the chief or executioner. He did not know, so he pointed the pas. finger at me. Il donc du doigt. Um, but he said that you had knives Question. and swords with Mais dry blood on it. That seems to imply that you um, were one of the actual physical Cela executioners, que vous partie killers. Des is, he, is he wrong or is he right? A-t-il eu raison de dire cela ou pas No, that statement is not uh, accurate. Non, ce qu'il a dit n'est pas vrai. At that time during the regime, and en not only I régime, had to resort to doing what I did, millions of people were doing the same thing. They managed to follow the instructions. Les and not everyone was in a position to monitor the individuals or, and later autres. on take them to be killed. No, it's not possible. Everybody was monitoring exécuter. everybody else. Cela That's dit, what was uh, happening during uh, the regime. Voilà passé sous ce regime. And it is unfair to finger out that I was the sole executioner. De dire que le seul bourreau. Um, You were convicted um, for your vous avez été actions pour within vos the regime by a court in Kampong Tom. Um, were you convicted to 10 years imprisonment? Avez-vous été condamné à une peine de prison de 10 ans? I Réponse. was in prison since 1979, but I believe en there, en there was a mistake in the written record of statement that I was in prison in 1982, but uh, that is not accurate. In fact, I was in prison since 1979. But, but were you in fact convicted Question. to a sentence of 10 years? I uh, read through the logbook at uh, the location. My conviction Réponse. was lu for dans les a period of 10 years. Que ma condamnation était However, de during 10 my ans. detention, everybody there, including Mais supervisors, uh, prison les staff, and le de uh, policemen, 
sympathize with my good deeds. So my 10 year sentence was reduced gradually until the time I was released. For which specific crimes were you convicted to 10 years? Which, which crimes? In the current uh, legal term, I was convicted to a similar uh, allegation. Uh, this is, is, is called that is uh, the conviction of uh, senior leaders of the uh, regime. At that time, I was accused of being uh, one of the uh, leaders who was then uh, convicted president interim. Uh, Mr. Witness, please respond succinctly through the question, and if you do not understand the question, please ask for verification or for it to be rephrased. And counsel, it seems that the witness does not understand your question. Please uh, repeat your last question. I will, uh, Mr. President. Um, were you convicted for a specific crime, for instance, uh, murder? Of villagers. Par exemple, meurtre, l'assassinat de villageois. What exactly were the crimes that you were convicted Pour of? Pour quel crime exactement avez-vous été condamné? At that time. I was accused of being a Khmer Rouge leader and a village chief. Um, these were the crimes. No, the crimes weren't murder or torture or any of those kind of crimes. I was réponse. convicted for the act of killing. J'ai été condamné pour assassinat. I was accused of being a Khmer Rouge leader and a chief Khmer executioner, Rouge and for that bourreau. reason, I was uh, convicted to ten years imprisonment. Voilà pourquoi j'ai été condamné à dix ans de prison. And were you convicted Question. for killing été condamné specific pour people? Avoir exécuté des gens en particulier? People from in the village, for instance. Des gens qui venaient de votre village, par exemple. No. There was no specific uh, mentioning non. of any particular On people. Mentionné personne en particulier. Um, now, Question. turning um, to. Your work at the first January dam. Who was it that made you work three months at the first January dam? Working there. Who was it that made you work three months at the first January dam? Working there. At that time, it was the commune chief. Réponse. C'était le chef de la commune. Who gave instructions on the assignments to work and the first January Dam work site that is to carry the earth there for a period of three months. Chantier du barrage pour une période de trois mois. But what is what exactly did he instruct you to do? Quel ordre vous a-t-il donné? To work yourself or to find people from your village and select them 
ou de trouver uh, des gens, de choisir des gens parmi vos villageois pour qu'ils aillent travailler sur le chantier. I supervise uh, villagers in my village, and uh, that's what happened everywhere across the, the, the country. For course, our village, I supervise the village, and other village chiefs, for example, at five village, would supervise the villagers in that respective village. And that was the instruction let out by the commune chief. So you selected uh, the people from your village, but did you actually work yourself at the dam? Did you actually carry soil yourself? Maybe what I say, uh, you don't believe it, but indeed, I carried the earth and I worked harder than the people in my village. Because some of my uh, people who works there, some of them were work less, or they were a bit lazy, and I myself, in the name of their leader, I had to work hard, so that the upper level would see that we, as a group, could complete the work a quarter on time. Although I was their chief, but I worked as hard as them, or even harder than my villagers. Um, if you worked so hard at the dam, Question. Si vous avez um, aussi dur sur le isn't it true that Utseng must have seen you working, Utseng carrying the soil? Voir transporter de la terre, n'est-ce pas? At that time, I did not know anyone by the name of Utseng, where he was, where he worked. He gave testimony um, on that same day, um, at around 9.34, and I quote, uh, he rarely went to the first January dam site. Most of the time he would stay in the village. Um, so mostly he was in the village to watch over the 17 April people. Um, and a little bit further, at 13.55, he said, I saw him pass by. He was in charge of people in South Village, so he could walk past to the work site where his people were working. Perhaps he went there to visit his workers from Kang South Village. So his test testimony seemed to indicate that you didn't do anything um, in terms of physical labor, but you just came there to inspect. Is he wrong or is he right? That statement is Réponse. inaccurate. Cette déclaration Not accurate est fausse. at all. And fausse. he only saw a portion from his point of view. And Il a fait part that de son is point inaccurate. Point of view partial, mais so would it be then fair Question. for me to say that you instructed yourself? to work day and night, vous êtes and that you instructed yourself to carry four cu cubic meters, vous êtes that you were yourself very hard on you. Yes, indeed, I did that. Réponse, oui, fait. And uh, my people actually knew about this, Les habitants de mon and you village le can ask them. Vous pouvez leur poser la question. And even for the, uh, for the 
people living in the province, they also saw what I did. They knew that I broke heart at the site, and that is the reality. And if somebody said that I did not work on the ground at the site, it means that person was blind at the time. Mr. Witness, you're actually volunteering evidence that I was about to ask you. Do you know anybody who's alive today who can corroborate your evidence? Vous connaissez quelqu'un à l'heure actuelle qui pourrait confirmer ce que vous avez dit, confirmer que vous avez travaillé sur le chantier de construction du barrage de la terre jour et nuit. Pourriez-vous nous donner le nom de quelqu'un qui serait encore en vie aujourd'hui et qui pourrait le faire People who worked with me les gens qui travaillaient avec moi died. à l'époque I mean sont morts. Je parle des gens qui venaient du village de Kansas et qui ont travaillé sur le chantier du barrage. Ils sont morts. Uh, We actually uh, took turn to carry the earth at the uh, nous nous relayions site. pour transporter la terre sur le chantier. It was on a, a, a rotation basis. And as for those who uh, alleged that I did not work, Quant à ceux qui prétendent I que je believed pas travaillé, they were unclear and they did not see uh, the reality on the ground. Pas vu ce qui se concrètement sur le so is it your testimony that each and every villager donc, um, that worked with you during those three months at the first January dam uh, has now died and cannot confirm your testimony? Yes, Réponse. they all died. Oui, ils sont tous morts. And uh, that included uh, the person who was a village chief y at the time, or three or four of them who were within the uh, committee oui, at the village. They all died. Pour le comité, le ils sont tous Thank morts. you very much, Mr. Witness. Maître Copé, merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Témoin. Oh, good. Le Président. President, thank you, Council, Merci, and Maître. the National Council for the Defense Team for Nuanchia. You have the floor. Council, thank you, Mr. President, and good Merci, afternoon, Monsieur Your Président. Honor, Bonjour, Madame et Monsieur and les juges. everyone in and around the courtroom. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, My name is Liu Savana. For the defense uh, for Nuanchia, I have some additional questions uh, to put to you. In your written record Dans of your interview, that is the 166-156, at Ian in Khmer 0032-1787, and in English 0035-0720, says so the council, and in French 0040-2983. Stated, and I quote, vous avez dit, je vous cite, I was sent to carry us at the work site for a period of three months. I cannot recall when I was uh, being assigned to work there. Uh, However, it happened before I joined the uh, commune militia force. End of quote, free translation. How long after you returned from the first January dam work site, you were recruited to be part of the commune militia? Revenu du chantier et le moment où vous êtes devenu membre de la milice de la commune. Answer. I don't understand your question. Je n'ai pas compris votre question. Question. Allow me to rephrase it. Je vais reformuler. You stated that you worked at the first in the work site before you became a commune militiaman. So my question to you is the following. How long after you worked for three months at the work site were you selected to be a commune militiaman? Answer. I don't understand Réponse. your question at all. Je ne comprends pas du tout votre question.
chấm lại rồi bỏ lúc để khi ông ăn Question Question Allow me to repeat my question Your statement that I just quoted in which you said you were sent to carry earth at the first January Dam work site for a period of three months and you cannot recall when you were sent to, to, to work there but it was before you were selected to be part of the commune militia force and my question to you is the following How long after you returned from the three-month period working at the Bamberg site, you were recruited to be a commune militiaman? Answer, I cannot recall that. It is so confusing for me now. I cannot recall how many months after I returned from the work site. Après mon retour du chantier. Question. Question. Could you please uh, try to recall it? For instance, what you did first after your return from the work site? Answer. And so, I cannot recall it. Question. That is all right then. Allow me to move on. Also, in the same document. Dans le même document. At Khmer E N zero zero three two one seven eight six and English zero zero three three zero seven one nine and. In French, 00402982, you said, and I quote, I used to be a member of the commune militiamen for two months in 1976. And of quote, free translation. In which man were you selected to work as a commune militiamen? Pourriez-vous nous dire à quel mois vous avez été choisi pour devenir membre de la milice de la commune? Answer. I can only recall the year and I cannot recall the, na the, the months that I was selected. Question. Question. Was it during a raining season or a dry season? Pendant la saison des pluies ou bien pendant la saison sèche? Answer. I simply cannot recall it whether it was a dry or rainy season. Je ne sais pas si c'était la saison sèche ou la saison des pluies. I don't remember it. My apology. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Je suis désolé. Question. Question. That's all right. I'll move on. Pas de problème. Je poursuis. You said you were assigned to work at the first January Dam work site. Were you the first group of workers who were sent to the Dam work site, or the work had begun before your arrival? Les travaux avaient-ils déjà commencé avant que vous n'arriviez là-bas? Answer first. We didn't dig. The ground yet, but they made départ, an uh, inauguration of the work site, and there were any leaders who were present there on the inauguration day. And on that day, we were instructed just to carry the earth without having any daily quota for that particular day. Only after we were assigned a daily quota in cubic meters. Question. Question. Please listen to my question carefully. Were you the first group who arrived at the, the Denbrook site or the work at the Denbrook site had begun before your arrival?
answer. No, uh, we were réponse. at the beginning of the project non, as we were there projet. on the day one of Nous the inauguration là, of the project. Jour, le and there were senior leaders who were there on the inauguration jour, day and there were thousands of us who were carrying us without adhering to any work quota and on, only later work quota was assigned to all workers there. Question. You just Question. stated that you were instructed to arrest people. What did it take place? Whether it was in the village or in was it in other places? Answer. The arrests, uh, the arrests were made at the work site, for example, in the mobile units, and uh, I was instructed to arrest those people who committed moral offenses. And after re-education, they were allowed to return. They were not arrested and killed. Rather, they, no, they were not arrested to be killed. Council, did you ever witness people arrested and killed? Witness, could you repeat your question? My apology. Council, did you ever see people arrested and killed? Answer. In the Baikaung office, I saw people were arrested and I did not know where people were sent to. Militiamen arrested people. I mean the, com the commune militiamen arrested those people. Council. So it is correct to summarize your statement that uh, people were arrested and uh, you did not know where these people were sent to. Answer. Yes, I told you what I knew, so it is all what I knew. Council, earlier you have stated that La those who committed theft Vous avez dit were arrested. Que les gens qui commettaient des vols étaient arrêtés. So, is it correct to say that Ainsi, these people de dire que ces personnes were arrested because they were former teachers, soldiers, or civil servants? Des anciens fonctionnaires, enseignants ou soldats. Answer. Réponse. Uh, yes, oui. that is correct. Exact. Council, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I am done. President, President, thank you. Now the floor <laughs> is given <laughs> to <laughs> the defense <laughs> team <laughs> for <laughs> Mr. Kyo Sampon to put questions to this witness. You may now proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, euh, Monsieur le témoin, je m'appelle Anta Guisset et je suis euh, co-avocat international de M. Kessampan. C'est à ce titre que je vais euh, moi aussi vous poser quelques questions. Pour en revenir à la période à laquelle vous avez travaillé sur le barrage, 
si j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez indiqué plus tôt, vous avez travaillé sur le barrage avant d'être nommé milicien. Nous sommes d'accord. Village, not in the commune, and the there village, were other working for commune Il y avait d'autres personnes qui travaillaient pour la milice de la commune. Uh. Je vous remercie de cette précision, mais ma question est de savoir si avant d'être milicien dans le village, nous sommes d'accord que vous avez d'abord travaillé sur le barrage. Et ce n'est qu'ensuite que cette nomination est intervenue. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre déposition Pendant ces trois mois, vous indiquez avoir travaillé aux côtés de la population, travaillant même plus euh, que euh, les autres ouvriers. Est-ce que euh, vous étiez euh, responsable de euh, d'une unité de... Enfin, euh, je, je reformule ma question. Vous étiez responsable d'une unité de combien de personnes Were you in charge of a unit, and how many people were in that unit? But me, Kong, Kyung, Kadap, Mapung, Kyung, answer. I was the unit chief of Kong Sao village. So there were other chiefs responsible for different villages. J'ai bien compris, mais ma question était précise, c'était de combien de personnes étiez-vous responsable au sein de votre unité de village alors, sans euh, me donner un chiffre précis, est-ce que vous pouvez m'indiquer si c'était une dizaine, figure, une vingtaine, une centaine de personnes, une fourchette, sans avoir de chiffre précis Parce que je sais qu'effectivement, le temps s'est écoulé. D'après ce que j'estime, il y avait à peu près 50 villages qui étaient sous ma qui travaillaient avec moi sur le site du barrage. Et vous-même, vous étiez responsable de ces 50 ou 60 personnes. Quelle était la personne au-dessus de vous sur ce barrage Qui était la personne au-dessus de vous à ce site de construction That is your immediate superior. Tien Kum. Answer. There was chief of the commune above me. Est-ce qu'il est exact de dire que le chef de la commune, lui, ne restait pas en permanence sur le barrage, qu'il vaquait à ses occupations à la commune, et que c'est donc les chefs d'unité du village qui, au quotidien, s'occupaient des travailleurs villageois. Some of them stayed in the commune and drank wine or alcohol. There were only village chiefs and group chiefs there with the workers at the site. Et au sein de votre unité, est-ce qu'il y avait des chefs de groupe? 
Dans votre unité de village à vous, sur les 50 et 60 personnes, est-ce qu'il y avait des euh, responsables de groupes, de groupes plus petits Working in other tasks, and as for my case, I uh, was uh, in the field uh, digging canals and transplanting rice with workers. Alors, je ne sais pas si c'est un problème de compréhension. Vous allez me préciser. Là, je suis pour le moment sur le moment où vous travaillez sur le barrage. Du 1er janvier. Est-ce que lorsque vous étiez sur le barrage du 1er janvier, vous avez également repiqué du lit Oui, il y avait des canaux 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 Before that, before the rain came, uh, we were asked uh, to work in the uh, dam side carrying earth. And uh, as I stated later, when there was rain, uh, we were assigned to transplant rice. Alors, je voudrais uh, une clarification dans ces conditions. Vous avez indiqué avoir travaillé sur le barrage du 1er janvier. Pendant une période de trois mois, dans mon souvenir, vous avez indiqué que c'était pendant la saison sèche. Est-ce que nous avons mal compris votre déposition was the good time for uh, building the dam and uh, when the rainy season came it was the good time that uh, we needed to transplant rice est-ce que uh, la période de trois mois s'est déroulée sur le sur la au cours de laquelle vous avez travaillé sur le barrage s'est dé déroulé en continu ou est-ce que vous avez travaillé quelques semaines sur le barrage est allé repiquer du riz et être revenu et être revenu sur le barrage ou est-ce que au contraire vous avez travaillé pendant trois mois en continu I did not uh, work uh, permanently at the construction site. I was uh, removed and assigned to go and transplant rice. And after transplanting, after rice harvest, uh, workers uh, were assigned back to uh, work at the construction site. Donc, si je comprends bien, euh, pendant qu'il pleuvait, il n'y avait pas euh, de travail sur euh, le site du barrage, en tout cas au niveau de votre, de, de votre village qui euh, vous a demandé de venir repiquer le riz Who asked you to go and transplant rice pendant cette période-là period? The plan from uh, the commune, uh, we were uh, forced, oh, I'm sorry, uh, we uh, were ordered to come back and uh, transplant the rice. C'est donc le chef de, de la commune qui vous a 
ordonné de revenir au piquet so du riz. C'est bien ça Un petit peu plus tôt au cours de votre déposition, répondant, je pense, à une question de monsieur le coprocureur national, vous avez indiqué que vous auriez travaillé, la période au cours de laquelle vous auriez travaillé euh, sur le barrage aurait été au, à peu près au milieu du régime euh, du Kampuchea démocratique. Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser ce que vous entendez par le milieu du régime C'était pendant regime. la période du milieu du régime. And, uh, some places, uh, people were forced to work during the day and night time. For example, Excusez-moi, monsieur le témoin. Excusez-moi. Excuse me, euh, witness. Excuse me, nous n'avons pas un temps infini, donc je vous demande d'écouter attentivement mes questions. Elles sont précises. Je vous ai demandé so, to to question, quelle est la période que vous situez comme étant le milieu du régime, étant précisé que devant cette chambre, nous sommes saisis de fait du 17 avril 1975 au 7 janvier 79. Donc ma question est de savoir entre le 17 avril 75 et le 7 janvier 79, qu'est-ce que vous situez comme étant la période du milieu du régime au cours de laquelle vous avez travaillé sur le barrage du 1er janvier tout à l'heure, vous avez indiqué, répondant à une question du oh, procureur national, que vous avez travaillé sur le barrage du 1er janvier, à peu près, au milieu du régime du Kampuchea démocratique, sachant que le régime a duré du 17 avril 1975 au 7 janvier 1979, je voudrais que vous nous indiquiez quelle est la date approximative à laquelle vous situez le milieu du régime. All the belongings, all our property of people, including uh, coconut tree, uh, lemongrass, were put in the common. Je suis obligé de vous interrompre parce que vous ne répondez pas à ma question. Alors je vais essayer de faire autrement. Dans votre déclaration D166-156, ERN en français 004. 02981 euh, 2 pardon 982 ERN en anglais 00 33 07 19 ERN en Khmer 00 32 17 86 Dans ce document vous avez indiqué J'étais un membre des agents secrets de la commune pendant deux mois en 1976. Fin de citation. 
Ma première question est de savoir, est-ce que quand vous dites dans votre déclaration que vous étiez membre des agents secrets de la commune pendant deux mois, vous faites référence à la période au cours de laquelle vous avez été militien Ensuite, toujours dans votre déclaration, Still in your statements. À la page suivante, donc ERN en français 00402-9830, en anglais 00330720 et en Khmer 00321787. Voilà la question qui vous est posée. Quand avez-vous arrêté d'être agent secret Réponse j'ai arrêté de travailler comme agent secret en 77 parce que je n'ai pas respecté l'ordre d'exécuter les gens. Fin de citation. Ma question, ma première question est la suivante. Est-ce que vous avez arrêté d'être agent secret, effectivement, en 1977 Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. I stopped working as a militiaman uh, from that date, that year. Maintenant, pour en revenir à ce que vous avez indiqué plus tôt, no. vous avez indiqué que vous In avez travaillé sur le barrage du 1er earlier, janvier avant d'être nommé comme militien. Est-ce que nous sommes d'accord dans ces conditions pour dire que, selon vous, Do vous avez travaillé sur le barrage avant 77, 76, pardon, date de votre nomination telle que vous me l'avez indiqué tout à l'heure, et donc également avant 1977, date à laquelle vous avez cessé d'être militien. Vous dites qu'on vous a envoyé couper des arbres pour construire des maisons publiques, mais sur la même page de la déclaration que je viens de citer, vous dites que vous n'aviez pas obéi et que vous vous êtes enfui dans la forêt. La première question est la suivante. Vous avez indiqué que si en vous n'aviez pas accepté d'être militien, que vous n'aviez pas accepté, de, vous pas accepté pardon, euh, les ordres que l'on vous donnait, euh, on vous aurait tué. Là, je comprends que vous avez désobéi sciemment aux ordres euh, de, de vos responsables de la commune et que vous avez réussi à vous enfuir. Est-ce que vous avez eu des menaces de mort par la suite Threatened with death, did you receive death threats? I was threatened to be killed, and because I was afraid, I fled into the forest. I did not care, but try to. Uh, J'ai essayé de sauver ma vie. Et est-ce que vous êtes resté dans la forêt jusqu'à la fin du régime Did you stay in the forest up until the end of the regime But, no, to the job. Answer, Yes, I was in the, the forest until Réponse, the end oui, of the, the regime. 
Et est-ce qu'il est exact de dire que à cause And de is it correct la peur des conséquences de votre acte de désobéissance, vous n'avez pas osé revenir à votre village Donc si je comprends bien, à partir de 77 jusqu'en 79, vous n'êtes pas revenu à votre village, jusqu'à janvier 1979. Donc, si je comprends bien votre déposition également, ça veut dire que vous n'avez pas à nouveau retravaillé sur le barrage puisque vous n'êtes pas revenu au niveau du village. C'est bien ça ce n'est pas correct. Donc vous êtes revenu à votre village après avoir fui dans la forêt Later on, I was called back to return to my house. I did not dare to come back at that time because I was afraid that I uh, would be killed. And it was my it was my parents who came uh, to call me to return back home, and I decided to come back. And during that time, my parents and all my relatives uh, went uh, into the forest and persuaded me to come back home. Et c'était en quelle année? And in what year was that? I do not recall it well. Je ne m'en souviens pas très bien. It was perhaps in 1978. peut-être en 1978. I forget it. J'ai oublié. I'm sorry. Désolé. Sans vous souvenir exactement de la date, well, est-ce que vous exactly vous souvenez um, date, uh, pendant combien de temps vous êtes resté dans la forêt? How long you stayed in the woods? Answer. I do not recall it well. I was in the woods until the regime failed, the genocide regime failed. After the regime failed, Chiesim, Heng Samran, and Hun Sen came into the country. I did not dare to return to my house, and uh, upon the, my return, I was arrested and imprisoned. Excusez-moi, euh, une dernière précision avant de marquer la pause. Est-ce que, oui ou non, vous êtes rentré chez vous, dans votre village, à la demande de vos parents après votre fuite de la, dans la forêt en 77, est-ce que oui ou non vous êtes rentré dans votre village Ce que vous dites est exact. 
Oui, ce que je dis est exact, mais elle est en parfaite contradiction avec ce que vous venez de dire, puisque vous m'avez indiqué que vous n'avez pas osé revenir parce que vous aviez peur et que vous êtes resté dans la forêt jusqu'à la fin du régime. Donc laquelle des versions est la bonne I am confused now. I uh, don't know how to answer. Je ne sais pas comment répondre. Moi non plus, Monsieur le Témoin et Monsieur le Président, j'en ai terminé de mes questions pour aujourd'hui. President, you run out of questions, Le président, uh, vous n'avez plus de questions à poser, maître Si, si, quand je dis j'en ai terminé, well, c'est pour aujourd'hui parce qu'il est 4 heures. Mais j'en ai d'autres pour demain. President, uh, how long will it take le président, de combien de temps avez-vous encore besoin, maître um, Pour moi, je well, pense que j'en aurai encore I'm besoin d'une demi-heure d'interrogatoire et je pense que mon confrère Kongsamon a également des questions. Le président, merci. Before the adjournment, the chamber would like Avant to inform the public that due to some issues, the chamber was unable to hear witness to TCW 901 today. As originally scheduled, the chamber has been informed that a witness to TCW 901 will be available to testify from Monday, 22nd of June 2018. In light of this information, the Chamber has scheduled witness to TCW 901 to appear next week after the testimony of witness to TCW 943 is completed. And as for the order of other witnesses remains the same. Pour ce qui est du reste du calendrier, il est inchangé. The hearing today comes to an end, and the chamber will resume its hearing tomorrow, 17 of June 2015, starting at 9 a.m. And the chamber will. Continue to hear Nous continuerons this witness. à entendre ce témoin. And after that, the chamber will hear suite à quoi to TCCP 261, and if time TCCP allows, uh, the chamber will continue to hear to TCW 943 as scheduled. Please be informed. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Lund. Uh, the hearing of your testimony has not come to an end yet. Uh, you are all therefore invited to be here again tomorrow at 9 a.m. You may rest now. Court officer, please uh, work with a Wesu to send uh, Mr. Lund back to the place which, where he is currently staying and please uh, have him returned before the chamber at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you very much, Mr.
the Mương Sawan, you are also invited to be here to assist witness tomorrow at 9 a.m. And security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Nguyen Chi and give some pawn back to the detention facility of the ACCC and please return them to the courtroom tomorrow at 9, before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.